This conference will now be recorded. It is only for the PCR training schema, PCR, particularly for the US payroll. Uh -huh. So yes, what yes. is your requirement? What is your requirement? She's looking for a US payroll, okay? And US payroll, how the CRT and the RT and ORT behaves when we run the payroll and how it okay. calculate the CRT and ORT to RT, how it uh, process in the um, schema actually. Okay. That is one thing and how benefit garnishment uh, working, okay. how tax is uh, working. Uh, like uh, okay. there is uh, some month and accruals, right? If pay period right. is in between uh, uh, month and or anything like that, how it month and accrual uh, works, how claims work, uh, like if there okay. is any claim generate, how it works and how it updates and how okay. the tax uh, if we paid in the annual at the end of the year how the tax uh, returns like it in india form 16 like there is pu 19 or something like that w4 or w3 how it yeah. uh, works yeah. and how benefit works so okay. like okay. that i just want to know overly how those standard okay. pcrs what are the schemas and how okay. the pay monthly uh, salary calculated or hourly salary calculated okay. so okay. this is all overly i just want to understand uh, that is my <coughs> so you need complete uh, sap hcm us payroll training configuration schema hcm 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 i know hcm not required only us payroll yeah, that is US payroll. Even in success factor also, the same background is even only that. Yeah, US payroll only because payroll is a part of the HCM. Now it is remodified as ECB. No, no. So what happened? HCM means somebody thinking that uh, OMPA recruitment training, all these things no, 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 is not no, no, required. No, no, no. Okay. That, that is complete course. That is complete course. Yeah. We are talking about only payroll. Mm. Only yes, payroll. Yes, yes, payroll. Yes. Only payroll. So that is configuration uh, that is nothing but configuration and the schema copy and standard mm. pcrs customer specific specific mm -hmm. pcrs am i right like prorated right if somebody joined yeah. in middle of yeah, the yeah. month yes yes and, yes, uh, yes yes so processing yes. class uh, how it's uh, slash uh, eight eight series slash four series slash one series how what is the purpose of those uh, which types when we are uh, doing this uh, things right processing class so how it right. behaves so that we just need some clear understanding okay good so already did you work on payroll uh, indian payroll any other payroll yes yes i already worked long five to six year back for indian okay. payroll but after okay. that i stopped working on that so that i just want to <clears> know <throat> uh, in that india payroll also i worked as a fresher for one okay. to two year and after that i stopped so that I forget most of the things now. So for US okay. payroll, I just want to understand. Uh, I have already query on the CRT, ORT, RT. I'm a little bit confused still. How okay. our schema behaves for those right. tables. <clears throat> if US okay. payroll is run, how the, that calculation comes and how it process and how it calculates. So that I just need a clear understanding. Okay, okay. okay. Good. okay good. I got your point and uh, coming to the demo. So already you are working on SAP so that there is one clarity we must have. First we should know IMG info type payroll results. So if you want to run payroll results, so there is a T code PC00 underscore M10 US payroll underscore CALC. If you run payroll by using this, system is going to read data from different different info types technically we can say database tables so this is we can say database tables right system is reading the data from different different info types different different info types and uh, you are going to see the output so whenever you want to see the output that is known as uh, a log in the log you can see basically rt table what is mean by rt table result table there <clears throat> we need CRT table, we need BT table, okay, uh, we need AB table, we need JDL table, we need ORT table, we need LRT table, we need DT table. These are the, 
result table means when you run payroll current month payroll is stored in the RT table in the future if you want to generate a report you can generate from here CRT table means cumulative result table how many months it is paid okay if it is run payroll for January February March it will show you <coughs> March salary in RT table CRT table you can see January February March then BT mm -hmm. table bank transfers last 559 AB table absences we have paid absences we have unpaid absences Mm -hmm. ZL table not here, <clears throat> at AB table, ORT, AB table in the sense if you apply a leave that means you maintain 2001 info type so that is stored in AB table, ORT table, old result table, LRT table, last result table. Now when you run payroll, a retro payroll, retro payroll, now retro means running payroll for the back period. Now current month payroll, <clears throat> it is in RT table. Then last month payroll is LRT, other than last month it is in ORT table, old result table, LRT table, DT table means difference table. Now if you are running mm -hmm. payroll for the metro, uh, retro payroll, that is going to be stored. Not only this, there are so many other tables also there. <clears throat> that means if you run payroll, these where we are going to see the output. If you want to see these output, what info types they are, normally to run payroll, in every country, table 01, table 02, table 06, table 07, table 08, table 09, and table 03, 0302. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, up to 8. Okay. 0014, 0015. Okay. Apart from that, 0194, 0195. And 0171, 0167, or 168, whatever it, it is here. Right, 0207, 0208, 0209, 0210. <clears throat> right, even 0, um, 0234, and 0161, 0235. Right, if you wanted to run payroll, these info types are required for US payroll. Now, Four zeros, triple zero one, triple zero two, triple zero six, seven eight nine. These are very common for every country. Indian payroll, international payroll, whatever it is. Triple zero three zero three zero two. These two are generated by the system. We never maintain manually. Fourteen fifteen. <clears throat> if you have, you can maintain in US. Some companies they have fourteen. Uh, some companies they won't have. So recurring payments and deduction, additional payments. One ninety four, one ninety five. This is garnishments. Garnishment order, garnishment document such as here. Then 0171, it is benefits uh, related, general benefits information. 167 health, 168 insurance, 169 uh, 401k. Then particularly US payroll. In Indian payroll, we maintain 0582, 591 uh, info types. But in US payroll, 0202 residence tax, 0208 work area tax, 0209. Unemployment incidents 0 to 10 <clears throat> withholding information 0 to 34 uh, additional information 0 161 that is IRS uh, interim IRS limit then 235 something is there. I have to check it and uh, these are the info types we have to maintain. Say for example you are going to maintain seven info types. In IMG you have to create work schedule rule. If you wanted to maintain triple zero AI, you have to maintain pay scale type, pay scale area, pay scale group, and other configuration. And if you wanted to maintain nine info type bank key and uh, payment method, you have to configure. That means whatever you wanted to maintain certain data in the info type, somewhere in the back end, you have to configure. Right. Once you configure in IMG implementation guide, nothing but the back end of a functional consultant, these info types you have to maintain. When these info types you are going to maintain and you can see the payroll results and when you run payroll you can see the payroll results. When you are linking, when you run payroll, there is a process. There is a concept called schema. <clears throat> what is schema? Schema is set of uh, functions and uh, rules used to run payroll, used to run payroll. Now coming to the May, uh, US payroll or any payroll schema contains some schemas and uh, 
subschemas contains uh, functions and rules. Now here you have to know what are the subschemas are they. Say for example time related data, basic related data. Okay, then additions and uh, payments uh, where it is reading here. <coughs> Uh, then after uh, okay proration and factoring what is the like benefits what is the subschema and garnishment what is the subschema retro payroll what is a subschema okay loan related what is a subschema that means a schema contains subschemas each and every subschema must have certain set of execution set of uh, collection of activities are there like time data time data means uh, ut00 basic data ubd0 and the additional payments uap0 this is a sub schemas proration ual0 benefits ube1 garnishments uh, ugrn retro i want to check loan i want to check i will show you the system also let me i wanted to log on to the server So log on to the server. Whenever you log on to the server, first you have to specify your country with O037 country grouping. And I can show you what is payroll scheme of US payroll U000. That is, I have written <coughs> here. Mm, benefits. Uh, okay, one more thing is there, very, very important. Mm, Retro URR zero. A retro URR zero and loan loan. Mm, there is that load uh, here. This is travel expenses, loan, load processing. Yeah, so loans are not there in US payroll. Normally it is, uh, just a minute. So IN00, so loan it is separate uh, here. IN, LN it is there, but uh, UBLN, just a minute. UBLN, yeah, it is not there. Loan, just to forget about, these are the now finally tax related so tax related utx0 these are the subschemas now these subschemas contains functions and rules rules means pcr what is mean by pcr pcr is nothing but personal calculation rule it's a mathematical calculation what is mean by mathematical calculation simple logic i will tell you 30 days, if you work, you are getting 30,000. 29 days is equal to how much? In mathematics, how do you calculate 29 into 30,000? <coughs> Divisible by 30 is equal to 29,000. But this, in the mathematics, if you wanted to write down, 30 days is equal to 30,000. 30 minus 1 is equal to 29. And 29 into 30,000. You are getting some amount that amount uh, divisible by 30 days is equal to 29,000 in SAP this is a PCR in SAP it is known as a RTE is equal to TKSOLL TKSOLL this is RTE minus TKAU start star then RTE into KGENAU then RTE by TK T K D I V I. So this is the PCR. It's very simple, mm -hmm. and if you know this well, and this is very simple. This is very simple. It's not a big thing here, but this is the logic so, in you, SAP. This is so this yes. is this logic you cover in the real time. Yes. Uh, some... Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That, that is the reason in the demo I want to give a clarity now. Mm -hmm. Right. Now th this is a funda. Right. So that means if you wanted to learn this, right. Mm -hmm. What are the functions are they? Say for example, you maintain data 0001, 0002 data. 
Okay, this is this is a read by ename function. Ename function is in UBD0 subschema. What it is reading? It is reading data from 0001, 0002. That is one thing functions I'm telling here. Right. Again, if you want to read 40s, 0001, 0002, 007, 008, and 0027, there is a function workplace basic pay. Workplace basic, that is a function reading the data from these info types. This is also from UBD0 subschema. That is good. And the next thing, <coughs> UBD0. Say, for example, P0014 function. Okay, 0014 info type. To read this data, there is a function P0014. P0014 function. It is reading data. Okay, 008. 0014 and paid absences, unpaid absences for our how much? That means slash 001 slash 002, it is ready. So that means what are the functions, what are the subschemas? They are reading what info types data, where it is storing. In the same way, to read 008 info type, to read 00 info type, there is a, a function workplace basic pay. There is a table, IT table. There we can see basic pay info types. I want to show you. Now I am going to run payroll for US. So run payroll for US. I'm running payroll. So let us take Darnish, whatever it is, you can take. So run payroll this. I'm running payroll. Now this is US payroll, payroll driver for US. Now we are running payroll. When we run payroll, basically you can go to one scheme subschema UBD0. First, I want to show UBD0 subschema. How can we see UBD0? Go to PE01. Enter your main schema U00. Click on change. Go to UBD0 here. Ename is a function reading the data from 001, 002. Where it is? In the log, you can open ename is a function input data reading from 001. This is 001 info type data, and 002 it is reading the data. The same data it is processed, and this is the data. Specify employee name. System is telling. So this information is in 001 info type available. This is from and personal data 002 info type available for this data, and so and so personal area, so and so sub area. This is one thing. Another uh, function, WPBP, reading the data from 40s, 001, 007, 008. Say, for example, 007, it is reading work schedule rule. We maintain 8, 7 info type. Okay, here it can see monthly how many working hours, weekly how many working hours, daily how many working hours, weekly how many working days. All such information you can get it. Then, you can see the output here, IT table. You can see 1 DH1, 18,049, city 11, this is. So that means these are the waste types which are maintained in the IT info type read by this function. Similarly, if you want to see, I told you, 14 info type. So if you want to read the 14 info type, there is a procedure. <clears throat> here we can find out here, this is P0014 info type. It is reading 14 info type. Car allowance and 401k. If you click on farm, you can check basic pay, city allowance, car allowance, commission, overtime, 401k, service charge, credited, and all those things that you can find out. So that means what you are going to understand here, what you are going to understand, what subschema contains what function, what functions is reading what information, where it is going to be stored. Where it is. Yes, thank you. where it is going to be stored, right? So for that, our training is going to be covered. Basic settings, I will explain you. Basic pay, basic pay, recurring payments and deductions, additional payments, additional payment off cycle, employee remuneration information, okay? Then absence valuation, time based type valuation, then accumulation waste type, accumulations, garnishment, benefits, 
tax process okay then eft or dme electronic ha uh, yeah, this a uh, yeah, 401 uh, some uh, there is a employee and employer something concept is that so what is that i didn't get you in 4401k right uh, you saw just before there is some employee and employer contribution also maintaining some yeah, right? that, that is like uh, that is like a actually that is uh, only employer contribution is there but if you want to go with the employee also you can go that is a 401k in india oh, okay. what, what is, is 401k so okay is that is one india? type of pf okay ah, okay right, right. Okay, got it. That is that is known as PF. Uh, that is not PF. Similar to PF, it is known as uh, savings oh. plan, savings pension, like right, <coughs> right. EFT. Then it will happen from employee salary, and the employee also contributes from in four one k. Right, right, right. Correct. Okay. Right. So crossing classes, accumulation classes, evaluation classes, and uh, reports. Other than that, that P PU19 also you will cover PU19. That, that is PU19 is an interface, na no? here interface it won't work out, na. No? So if you want PU okay. PU19, we need we need an adapter exporting the data from SAP to non SAP, non SAP to SAP. It is an adapter. Okay. Process I will tell. That is tool interface, interface tool, right? Nay, nee, what uh, the activity uh, uh, the real time user uh, do in PU19? So that uh, concept, if you can uh, cover, that will be okay. Means after we run the taxes, right? Form 16, we generate forms, all these things. So, so that something just try to understand. This one. You're is. asking. I'm, I'm talking, okay, this is the reports not only, but here just I want to give the here I want to give the now the BSI. Here BSI calculation, I will tell you the process because mm -hmm. SAP application should be integrated to the BSI. All taxes are calculated in the BSI. Here BSI mm -hmm. integration is not possible in the training. But what are the tax mm -hmm. types are there? What are the taxes are there? What are the quarterly reports are there? What are the half yearly reports? Majorly mm -hmm. how to know? Majorly W4 form, W5 mm -hmm. form and W2 form. Yes. And these forms are very, very important. Other than yes. that, normally SUTA form is there, FUTA form is there. SUTA means State uh, Unemployment Tax Act. Uh, FUTA means uh, Federal Unemployment Tax. Uh, yes, then yes. quarterly correction, quarterly correction. Here we can check. Huh. Yeah, this is a part we of. We can tax, cover no? these things. That tax. is okay. I understand. Yeah. BSI tax factory we cannot no, no. establish. We, we can but, uh, we can cover, but output won't come. That's you, did, yes, you got yes, my that point. Is okay. Right? Ah, okay. Yes, okay, yes. Okay. Good. Okay. That that, that I can that I can discuss yeah so these are the things we are going to discuss now basic settings it is a period parameter date modified payroll area you know generated payroll period you know basic way configuration mm -hmm. approximately 18 steps are there if you want to configure the triple zero eight we have to configure that you know that very well also mm -hmm. now, i know then re recurring payments and deduction this is 14 related Additional mm -hmm. payment, it is 15 related info type and additional payment off cycle, this is 0 to 67 info type related. Employee remuneration information, it is uh, 2010 info type related. Absence valuation. Absence valuation means we have paid absences, we have unpaid absences. Where are you telling to the system, V underscore T554C table, you are going to specify whether paid or unpaid. That is very, very important. Now there you have to know certain schema, PCRs also, then time based type. Now normally OT is there. OT hours generated in where it is in time evaluation. Where it is stored, it is in JDL table. That JDL table, it is integrated with the payroll. That means uh, JDL table, OT hours are there, 5 hours are there. The rate, it, it will come from the payroll. Say for example, overtime 120 per hour. 120 per hour into 5 hours. System can collect. This is time to payroll integration. Then so we will not cover time time module. So that how can we do in payroll only? Let's uh, we don't have uh, time module. We have only payroll. So OT hour whatever we put the rate in uh, uh, 2010 that will be calculate uh, as a yeah. OT and uh, the yes. There are two ways. In 21 way time payroll integration. No, if we don't no go time, for that. No, 
listen to me listen to me first. okay okay ha huh. okay there is time payroll integration is there in your company if there is no time payroll directly what you said in 2010 info type you have to specify mm. okay just you have to specify number of hours number of hours mm. automatically rate it will be in the payroll it, it can calculate yes there are two ways with time integration without time integration whatever without the way you can use you can use next one accumulation waste type say for example accumulation waste types and accumulations are very very important now the basic thing we have basic say for example i will write down here we have basic pay city allowance car allowance commission okay project allowance and bonus is there now gross salary you ask a question how rt table is generated now gross salary means accumulation class 1 now what is mean by gross salary some of the earning so basic pay city allowance car allowance commission project project allowance you should link to you should link to accumulation class 1 whenever you link to accumulation class 1 system is going to generate slash 101 whatever the amount is in 101 that is a gross salary of the employee so for this you are not going to write a pc this is a standard process accumulation class 1 next one accumulation class 2 accumulation class 2 401k contribution 401k contribution there is a percentage there is a percentage employee employer normally it is employer if employee may be there employee may be also there then it is on what waste type it is only on basic pay only on basic pay others are not then basic pay amount where it will be stored it will be stored in slash 102 this is accumulation classes i will show 102 accumulation class where we can see slash uh, 102 accumulation class in rt table final processing go to rt table this is a rt table here you can check slash 102 26289 is there on this amount what are the percentage you specify so employer contribution Where it is going to be the percentage so company people will tell you we have to specify we have a procedure in info type 169 okay. we have to specify Okay, right. okay, got it, got it. Okay, right. so that so by default uh, standard will be generated according to yes. that info type. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Right. So this is so this is employee class. contribution one zero slash one zero two is employee contribution or employer contribution? No, no, no. That is the base amount. It is not employee. Okay, okay, employee got it. This is the base amount. Okay. Base like amount PPF, we have fifteen thousand base amount to like that. It, no, no, uh, that, that is different again. That is that is base amount. here what i am telling here you didn't get my catch my point we have these waste types basic pay city allowance car allowance commission project allowance and bonus is there right now mm-hmm. 40 now in indian payroll base uh, pf is calculating only on basic pay am i right mm-hmm. that is known as the base amount pf mm-hmm. basis is different pf okay. basis is different base amount is different am i right mm-hmm. Ah uh, yes, that is uh, that is different, right? Mm. So now in Indian payroll, whatever the amount which is stored in slash one eleven, slash one eleven, table one, based on this, based on this, PF employee or employer contribution, it is going to be contributed. Then PF base amount is not more than fifteen thousand. Mm. Not more. Where you are going to specify? There is an T five eleven P. There is a PF base PAC constant is there. There you are going to specify. Mm-hmm. Similarly, there is one zero two is also there. Got my point? Yes. This is about the accumulation. Now processing class. You asked about the uh, if employee joins mid of the period, how it is worked out. There are processing mm-hmm. classes. Processing class ten specification one. Okay, amount is reduced. Processing class ten specification zero. no reduction that means what is meant by processing class there are important processing classes are there that we will discuss now mm-hmm. say for example if you link basic pay to processing class 1 specification 1 amount is reduced i think but it is prorated proration if you maintain processing class 10 specification 0 it is not prorated it is done by there is a pcr xbal pcr 
So that means now here I can show you. Here I'm running payroll. Click on execute. Now you are getting 17,264. 17,264 you are getting. SM30 V underscore D5 V underscore 512W underscore D table. Here we can maintain all processing classes, accumulation classes, evaluation classes. Mm -hmm. Now one DH1, double click on that. Here you can find out processing class. Here one is there. What is processing class one? It is reducing. So here we are getting 17,000 some amount you are getting. Right? Reducing. Now I'm maintaining here zero. No reduction. It is not reducing. It is not reducing. Now run payroll. You will get some more amount. You are getting what is the amount you are getting? You are getting 18,000. This is mm -hmm. so 18,000. It has to be paid as reduced is getting this amount. That is processing class related. So processing classes, accumulation classes, evaluation classes we will discuss. Oh, Apart one from that, went, yes. I have one yes. query here. Yes. Can we just go back to that particular table T5 W T table just open right? Yeah, open. Okay, one step back. <clears throat> if you go up, totally out. Top, yes. First. Tell me. This ah, steps yes. will come. Go up. No. Class 001, right? So what right. are these valuation basis? One, two, three, four, we, all this? We, we, we will discuss in the session. One thing okay. I will tell you. Okay. No, let, okay. Ah. You ask a question, I will tell you okay if you wanted to not this is the place to learn okay i will um, show you i will show you slash zero zero one if you wanted to understand here in the time it will come into picture i will show you time data there is a pcr u zero one zero it is telling here now you can check it here here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is the basic pay amount it is there that basic pay, basic pay amount it is storing in slash zero zero one zero zero two. This is the valuation base. What is mean uh -huh. by valuation base? This amount is valuated per hour. How much? One seventy uh -huh. here. Okay. This is you can check it. What, what is the amount? This is the amount. So I will tell one seventy six hours is equal to what amount it is? Eighteen thousand forty eight. One hour, how much? How it will come? How it will come? I will show you. So, 18,049 divisible by 176 hours is equal to 102. This 102, where it is coming? Here I will show you. Here you can check it. 102. So, but uh, my question is that why it is two line items slash one zero zero one two? Okay, you want Not only three, one? Four, five. No, no. Okay. Uh, okay. My question is that here, the, if in that table there is a slash one zero zero valuation one, two, three, one zero 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 one okay. zero zero two zero zero three like that. But in this case, why it is only get two, not more than okay. two, three, now, four like that? If you go to vegetable market, you are bringing five kgs of. Uh, onions i am bringing only mm -hmm. one cage why are you bringing mm. five cage of onions no no but uh, five cage onion means if i, I have more requirement for uh, a more Absolutely long right. time if Absolutely. i want to keep Ab i Ab take that is that, that is that is a requirement right Correct. okay uh. in in sap standard in the pcr they specified slash zero zero one zero zero two so it is not only one in UK payroll slash 001, 002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so many will come. So that uh -huh. means, that means here they have given two. Okay. Uh -huh. But okay, wh what is your question? Why it is coming to? You make only uh -huh. one. It's not necessary. You make it one. I will show you. Uh -huh. I will make it one. Just a minute. Now, T0, just a minute. T02. Okay, Z010. It, uh, 
okay that is your requirement here okay i'm mm -hmm. deleting this now only one is there now you can check it so now sap is giving like that is standard process now okay. you don't want no, that. No, i understand i understand no, no, so no. In future, we can cover these things so that my concept will be at least clear. So that I just uh, no, no, asking no, no. Let, this type of query. Let Let me give you the answer. Yeah. Why not? Why should we waste uh, the time? I will go and I will show you. D zero one. D D H one. Two T zero zero. Now give an answer. Why are you bringing five k saffronians? That is your requirement, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now I will run payroll. Okay. Now you can check it. Time data. Where is time data? Yeah. This is. You can check it. Now you can check. Only one is coming. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is see SAP standard in the PCR they specified slash zero one slash zero 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 one zero zero two. Normally okay. to be frank, two is not required. In the standard they, it is there, we wanted to use. If you want to maintain okay. only one you can maintain. So that is okay. the reason okay. thus the, the PCR and we have to modify according to the client requirement. So that we can say standard okay. process that is. Right. No problem. Okay. Got it. Right. No. No. The, th the thing is here. Uh, right. So that means this is. So here, normally PCRs which are standard. What are the PCRs are standard? I am writing here. X zero one zero. X zero one three. Same body. Okay. X zero two zero. X zero two three. X P P. Hi. 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 X P P zero. Is it a kid or daughter? A daughter. Oh, good. XPPF, XPP1, XPP0. Okay, other than that, UUIM, uh, XMOD PCR, already it is there. Here. So this this and, standard uh, PCRs also, you will understand, right? In the... uh, that is, if you understand, then only you can understand processing classes. Other than you won't Correct. understand, huh? Huh? Yes, yes. We reason, will, uh, so, I'm, I'm uh, writing. I'm writing what we are uh, going to discuss. I'm writing here. That is okay, the reason. Okay, got it. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. Then customer specific PCR. Now, there is a monthly bonus. Company is paying. New York is there. California is there. New York people are getting 2500. California people are getting 3500. This you, you need not configure. You need not enter manually. Whenever we run payroll, by default, it should come into picture. If you want to get by mm -hmm. default, uh, we have to write a PCR. That is one thing. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a uh, attendance bonus is there in US. Per day, it is $50. Per day, it is $50. Calendar days, if it is January, April, 30 into 50, that equal to 1500. Working days, only present day, 22 days into 22 days into 50. Then 1100. I want like this. How do you calculate? We need a PCR. Mm -hmm. We need a PCR. Or else in US, Christmas bonus paid only in December. It is not paid before month and after the month. You have to pay Christmas bonus. You need not configure. When December payroll you run, automatically Christmas bonus should be paid. For every employee, same 5000 amount. For them, we have to write a PCR. So such PCRs we are going to cover. So mm -hmm. normally end to end process we can cover. Every output I can show you. But coming to you said PU19 that is related to all uh, taxes. Tax. Taxes output okay. we won't, I won't show you. But okay. I will tell you process. What is 940, but, 941. Okay, so okay got it. And uh, that uh, okay. what I'm saying uh, that the DME pre DME also output also standard we can uh, visible right uh, when we generate uh, pre DME and DME so the text so, file when that also standard come right up to pre DME I can show you 
DME okay. because that is so what is pre DME pre DME employee number what amount you are going to pay to the employee that is a pay. file yes. later D, yes. uh, later DME file DME mm -hmm. file they can change according to the uh, software uh, uh, you know software related say for example in mainframe says that it, it must be an XML format okay mm -hmm. Our, we have to consult in pre DME finance people can generate DME DME means when you transfer the amount from the bank uh, company account to bank account bank account which format it is supporting whether excel form mm -hmm. text form or xml form so pre dme output i can show you mm -hmm. okay so right. okay i got it so dme pre dme means our payroll team uh, responsibility dme is yes, the no, finance no. team right uh, yes i will give the clarity when we run okay. payroll when we run payroll we post to the finance people and the document mm -hmm. number is generated through the document number they can see that what amount it is paid but they need a mm -hmm. list employee wise what amount it is to be paid so we have to generate a pre dme file mm -hmm. so there we can see normally what we can see in slash 559 info a bank transfer what amount it is there employee wise it will come then that employee wise means partner and a pipeline amount and bank account right 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 right, right, ah. right. So okay. that is a that, that is or else other than this normally there is a g report is also there the g report in the sense bank transfer so bank transfer that, normally yes tell me no no what i'm saying uh, in pre uh, g report means as per customer requirement the evapor can develop these reports so right, that is right. the different my question is that in pre dme for example i want to send a uh, uh, 100 employees partner and their name their bank account number and the amount so if i want to download that uh, as a text file i can download in pre dme right you can okay. you can download so, you can download okay if if i want to add instead of partner if i want to add uh, in that text file i want to add the company code i want to add the personal area sub area that also possible no in pre dme it is not possible that is the reason i'm telling here see uh -huh. the purpose of the pre dme is how do you need a report but in sap standard there is a personal number and waste type amount is only there okay only waste okay type. got it what? got it we can see up to that is fine for me not so sure. right right and once we do the pre dme for a dme let's say for example we run the payroll and we send to bank and anyhow we want to reverse it back uh, like uh, 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 we paid in check and uh, we want to reverse the amount to due to some reason that is called check reversal right so that also so, we cover the thing is here check reversal once it is transferred to the bank if finance people didn't transfer the amount to the bank we can go for the reversal if it is already transferred where is the question of the reversal ah. Okay, that is again. So there is a tra uh, transaction, right? P U O C B A something happened, right? Uh, right. P U O C right. underscore that W. Uh, that process that, I am that, talking that, about. Uh, that that we will discuss. Uh, reversing okay, the okay. whatever the uh, check uh, we, yes. we can discuss. And that transaction also, right? Uh, the, in that transaction also, we can process the normal payroll as well, right? Right, 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 right. Uh, that that a also code. we can cover. There uh, is yes, a T code, code yes. Uh, yes. Where, where we enter all the details. System will generate. Uh -huh. You are not doing anything. Uh -huh. Just the system will generate. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, any more question from your end? Uh, the, the, right now, we just uh, instead of uh, text, uh, the system is okay to our uh, testing scenario, everything right to rate. So in our uh, topic, we no need to be uh, go with the uh, time integration. We can only practice in 2010, or whatever yes, over sure. time and time yeah. oh, we can sure. do that. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. We can do so that. So all okay. the all the best. Yes, yes, yes. So we can start uh, from uh, weekends only. So. Yeah, sure, sure. No problem. You can speak to the okay. Navin and partner. They will let you know. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so okay. much for your time. Okay, all the best and happy weekend. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay.
My darling, Passport at the
Right. So before I start, uh, our requirement is uh, US payroll, right? Correct. Huh? US payroll uh, configuration and schema PCR, right? Uh, yes, yes. All not, end to end. Yeah, not PAOM time, only payroll end to end. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, good. Now, for confirmation, I ask you, right? Yes, no problem. Okay, good. So I am sharing my screen. Hope you can see my screen. Right? I can see your screen. <clears throat> yeah. So today I will take only one hour session. Tomorrow we'll take a two hour session, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Right. So uh, already you know you are into SAP so that in the payroll part we uh, I'm going to write down what I'm going to discuss here so clarity I want to tell basic settings so this is particularly US payroll right and the basic settings you know that uh, that you know period parameter date modified payroll area mm -hmm. generate payroll mm -hmm. periods Okay, mm -hmm. generate for calendar accumulation, default payroll mm -hmm. area, and mm -hmm. uh, career control record. So these mm -hmm. are the things which we'll discuss in the basic settings. Okay. So next one, next one is the basic pay. In the basic pay, it is related to eight info type configuration. There are mm -hmm. approximately 18 steps are there. Out of 18 steps, very, very important, pay scale type, pay scale area, copy waste types when you copy waste type you have to know about the uh, waste type structure so normally waste type structure we have prime we have uh, primary waste type we have secondary waste type we have customer specific and we have a time waste type the difference between uh, primary secondary customer specific uh, time waste type so where we can configure uh, and how do we configure whether we can copy if we can copy and from where you are copying so those things we can discuss and very very important here v underscore t510 table that is pay scale groups and levels that is basic pay configuration and next one recurring payments and deduction this is related to 14 info type approximately there are only six steps are there whatever we configure in recurring payments and deductions that is allowed that is permissible for the 14 info type then additional payment that is 0, 0, 015 info type there are there are again there are six steps are there then this is related to here it is uh, uh, any allowances any deduction which is paid or deducted every month every quarter every half year that we can configure here all irregular payments we can configure in additional payments then additional payments oc up cycle 0 to 67 so normally if you want to run payroll normally we can run regular payroll or general payroll monthly ones 15 days once weekly ones we can run then up cycle payroll it is mid of the period mid period payroll it is known as up cycle payroll so this configuration we can configuration in pa as well as in the payroll so pa configuration also we have to we have to do a configuration is a part of the payroll but in pa we can configure right so this is very common and one more thing employee remuneration information this is 2010 info type that is nothing but uh, overtime related uh, configuration we can do in era so here uh, basic settings basic pay configuration recurring payments and deduction additional payments additional payment off cycle and employee remuneration information these steps are very common for every country if you work in indian payroll if you work in us payroll whatever the payroll you can work and after that next topic uh, is absences what is mean by absences normally absences you can configure in time management 
so we have paid absences we have unpaid absences paid and unpaid absences in time management you can create but in in time management you are not you are, you are not going to tell it is paid or it is unpaid and uh, absence valuation rule and there is a table v underscore t 554c table in that table you are going to specify if you take an absence or a leave whether it is paid or unpaid system is going to read out for this for this there are two secondary waste types are there slash 841 slash 846 you can use them of course you can copy and you can use any any other secondary waste types also this is standard in the absences we have to know sub schema that is uh, ut00 there is a pcr xm body there is a pcr xm body you have to know in the place of x you can put um body also um body also xm body international um body only for us payroll that we can that is absences right next one so, uh, just the question is that you given that the two secondary input type like slash 841 and slash 846 for example i want to create this two waste type under 2010 then that time also i can copy this waste type right so 2010 why do you create slash 841 846 what is the reason no no uh, reason is let's say for example i want to uh, Mm, no, let's say I want to unpaid. Uh, if I want to some unpaid hours, means if I want to deduct some salary, otherwise it will be paid every time. If I want to deduct any employee salary, I want to maintain in 2010, then that will be deducted. Yeah, uh, if you want, hours. yes, yes. If you want to deduct, you can you can copy. But normally, only unpaid related you can copy. But other than that, when you are creating the slash 146, right? Unpaid is slash 1846, right? 846 841 is okay. paid 846 uh, okay. is unpaid unpaid okay. right okay, okay right now time based type valuation time based type valuation here you have to know ut00 subschema there is a x010 pcr x013 pcr in us payroll you can say u010 pcr and u013 pcr so what you are going to do here time based type valuation means <coughs> OT over time over time is coming from the time management there you are going to show number of hours employee worked OT and the rate you are going to show from the payroll this rate is going to come u010 and u013 PCR through the processing classes one okay we'll discuss what is processing class one because topics I'm telling here so time waste type valuation here we are going to know uh, what is the you know from the payroll uh, side what is the rate per hour and it is done by these two PCRs again one more PCR is also there XMOD PCR and uh, so the here through the processing class one what is processing class one valuation base assignment of valuation base so those will we will discuss here we have to know secondary waste type secondary waste type slash zero zero one slash zero zero two so i don't want two madhu i want one you can modify which pcr you want to modify x010 nothing but u010 according to your client requirement you can configure sap has provided standard standardized uh, secondary waste type and procedure and process if you are okay with that you can go if you wanted to modify you can modify sap has given full permission to change according to your client requirement ABAP so why ABAPers are there ABAPers are there to modify existed procedure existed program table fields and logic right? this is about time waste type valuation <clears throat> after that accumulation waste types accumulation waste type basically we need a, a total gross salary total gross salary and the deductions so total gross salary is accumulation class 1 and deductions are accumulation class 10. Whenever earnings are linking to accumulation class 1, that is total gross, system is going to generate 
system is going to generate slash 101 slash 101 secondary waste type we are not going to generate through any pcr it is being generated when you maintain a waste type to the accumulation class one say for example your basic pay 10,000 city allowance 5,000 15,000 car allowance 5,000 then if you can see the rt table result table in slash 101 only 15,000 is there but actually there should be 20,000 then immediately you can check accumulation class one basic pay city allowance car allowance whether these three are linked to accumulation class one or not if you can check you will get the solution right similarly deductions we can link to accumulation class 10 accumulation class 10 and it will be stored in slash 110 so these two are very common but in us payroll other than this there are many but very very important is 401k contribution 401k contribution this is nothing but uh, this is a uh, savings employee sa savings related uh, this in us payroll there is employee contribution and employer contribution employee contribution employer contribution it is state to state it is different state to state is different but based on what waste type what waste type is it a gross salary or only basic pay that means so base waste types you can link to accumulation class 2 then 401k contribution whatever the amount which is stored in slash 102 based on that secondary waste type employee employer contribution is there say for example in my company basic pay on basic pay 401k contribution is there so basic pay you can link to accumulation class 2 that basic pay amount will be in slash 102 based on that employee employer contribution is there no madhu it is not only basic pay even city allowance also city allowance also you can link to accumulation class 2 this is accumulation class 2 other than these accumulation classes there are many but this is very very important this is accumulation waste type there we can check x010 x020 x023 x020 it is related uh, time based type x023 it is related rt table what is rt table what is time based type so whether a waste type is stored in rt table i say time based type other than time based type we can decide through the pcr that is about the accumulation waste type next one accumulations what is accumulations a waste type is paid and accumulated to the total now a waste type is paid monthly a waste type is paid quarterly a waste type is paid half yearly a waste type is paid yearly so that if it is monthly 12 months if it is quarterly four quarters if it is half yearly two half years if it is yearly one now there is a quarterly bonus 10,000 what is annual salary 10,000 into four 40,000 is annual salary to get the can annual salary we need accumulations so CRT table where we can see this is about the accumulations and after that very very important uh, there is a garnishment garnishment what is mean by garnishment garnishment is a type of deduction or dared by gout agency it may be uh, credit uh, it may be court or it may be gout agency it may be marshal it may be sheriff whatever it is here garnishment is a type of deduction ordered by the court where we can maintain 0194 info type 0195 info type even 0216 also we can maintain that is the garnishment and after that garnishments are only in us payroll but accumulations and accumulation here accumulation waste type time waste type absences okay accumulations and uh, these are on every country but here in accumulation waste type here slash 102 which is not in any other country it is only for us payroll and slash 101 slash 110 are very common for every country then garnishments are only in us payroll not in any other country but related to garnishment german is there and uh, in uk court orders are there even in canada it is also there but not in every country then benefits so benefits uh, first in pa you can configure uh, benefit area okay then after uh, benefit uh, plan type benefit uh, 
uh, just plan plan and after that uh, first program grouping second program grouping and so many groupings are that you can do in PA that is very common and there we can do health plan and there we can um, insurance and savings I can show you health plan similarly insurance and savings also but every country they have a health and some countries health insurance savings some countries very mandatory is a health in that is health after that whatever we configure in PA and go to the payroll so that means the benefits we can configure in the personal administration and that it is to be integrated to the payroll there you can copy a waste type so what are the uh, model waste steps to copy them that is integration and uh, there is a schema UB even sub schema and there you can run payroll that is the benefits apart from that very very important is BSI so one more question here yes. Sorry, so in benefit area I uh, there is a something like goal amount and deduction amount and the remaining amount is that uh, uh, what it is exactly is it in standard or do you need to be make some custom for example no. there is some goal amount for benefit I have to employ employer have to deduct thousand rupees in three months right so okay. that is the goal amount uh, thousand rupees in three months so every month they will deduct to five five hundred five hundred five hundred let's say fifteen hundred is goal amount in three months so if right. they deduct five hundred then remaining will be thousand next yes. month uh, will be again they deduct and it will be five hundred so after okay. that it will automatically not deduct and it will be closed so is yes. that the standard process in us no 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 that is customer specific standard process not goal yes. amount means whenever you are enrolling into a particular health plan goal mm -hmm. amount in the sense what amount you have to pay assume mm -hmm. that as you said that 1500 okay mm -hmm. then every month you are contributing 500 within three months it is going to be finished that is the mm -hmm. goal amount that is particular not a standard process it is customer specific certain plans are like that you have to pay 10,000 you have to pay 15,000 after that you mm -hmm. will get the benefit certain certain period like actually mm -hmm. that is not a health benefit that is only for uh, I think maybe insu uh, insurance or maybe savings but in health is not like that lifelong you have to contribute because when the health uh, is not good uh, nobody knows health, agree, yeah so whatever it is maybe in their company it may be three months or five years whatever it is ah, the scenario is that uh, means yes. we can use for different scenario but the, that is the uh, custom requirement okay uh, for that there are some user exits are there we can uh, activate the user exit or ask your developer they can do that yes it is there i worked on recently there was uh, a savings plan of twenty thousand. okay they have given a condition okay mm -hmm. employer contribution is 20000 employee contribution is 20000 this contribution you can do in one month or in one year or 10 years whatever it is here but ultimate goal is it must be reached 20000 then automatically it will be stopped same way mm -hmm. there is a ui unemployment insurance is there unemployment insurance state to state is different in some state is 7500 that is a ceiling so whenever it is reached 7500 automatically it will be stopped. that is a standard process okay but coming to the benefits okay there is no ceiling this much you have to pay there is no ceiling and if any company can put ceiling not more than this then you can go with the NABAP development there is bad is uh, for this goal amount and deduction amount without exit can uh, is it possible to write in PCR mm, in the PCR itself uh, Mm, just a minute goal amount is equal to that yes we can achieve but one function we have to develop oh is it one function we have to develop because function i will try i'm not sure about that and a function mm. we have to develop so uh, there is one waste type and you can fix up the amount whenever it is reach reached it is no through pcr we cannot achieve okay PCR, it, it is we have to develop it we have to develop okay okay so this is about the benefits now coming to the BSI here BSI in Indian payroll income tax is calculated in SAP itself and UK payroll income tax is uh, calculated in uh, SAP itself Singapore payroll Australian payroll but coming to the BSI but coming to the US so taxes are calculated in BSI application not in SAP application right in BSI application normally 
uh, okay we will discuss when we discuss okay all uh, types of taxes are calculated in bsa like uh, withholding tax unemployment incidence residence tax work area tax social security medicare all types of taxes are get calculated in bsa tax and as a consultant through rfc rfc you have to log on to bsi enter your user id and password and you go to the settings there are settings option is there after going to the settings whether you need the taxes whether you need unemployment insurance or social security whatever you want click on that so there must be the configuration that must be the taxes related click on update this is known as a tab subdivisions now there is a question whenever i click on whenever i update those taxes into my company but how sap uh, tables are going to be updated through the oss note oss note means you know online support services every year sap ag will release an oss note that oss note you can provide to the basis consultant they will update and certain particular tables are updated but here in the training a bsi a sap integration is not part possible but i can show but i can i can show you how the process it will be but we cannot uh, expect the output of uh, income tax withholding tax all such things here this is about the bsi but in the bsi what we have to do say for example tax company configuration okay then linking tax company to the personal areas and personal sub areas okay ein number so there are federal there are state there are local or district whatever it is here there are three numbers are there every company will have federal employer identification number state identification number local identification number so because in india income tax is collected by the central government later it can distribute among the states equally or partially whatever it is that is based on politics but in us income tax is levied by the federal central government of the bsi and uh, uh, central share it will be collected by the federal state share it is collected by the state local share it is uh, collected by the local so that is the collection of the income tax and after that in the bsi coming to the taxation part here what is a sub schema there are certain pcrs uuim very very important pcr there are some certain functions we have to know because certain areas certain personal area certain employee groups there is no calculation of uh, unemployment insurance so how can you give an exempt such things we can discuss that is in the taxation part this is about the bsi other than bsi let me show you spro spro f5 go to the payroll Dave, you are from which state odisha are you in odisha now no no i am in hyderabad now cha cha i think this year uh, there is a festival uh, what is that cha cha ah it is a new Dark concept one ah. okay yes yes yeah most of my friends are planning okay You are from Andhra or Bangalore? Ah, Pakka Hyderabad. Okay, Pakka Hyderabad. <laughs> yes, uh, you are staying in Hyderabad or where? Yeah, Hyderabad. Now I am in my native native Karim Nagar, and uh, I will be in Hyderabad. Okay, which place, Hyderabad? Arnaka. Huh? Arnaka, nearby Uppal. You know, stadium. Okay, Uppal. Okay, I oh, got it. Uppal side. Okay. Right, right, right. So where do you stay? i am staying in manikonda oh that was right 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 next one then eft next one eft this is eft is nothing but dme data medium exchange that kind of thing and creating a bank you know and the pre dme mm -hmm. file so those things we can discuss over there and Maybe next one very is done by payroll team or finance team which one dme dme pre dme we have to configure 
and actual DME it is configured by the FICO consultant. Why it is done by the FICO consultant? Which format the bank support? XML format or you know uh, text format here. So pre DME you have to give. That is your role. Configuration we have. To, there is nothing configuration. There is a T code by using code we can generate. But we have no, to know. But the, yes. Uh, okay. The file format you are saying, right? Yeah. Format. Okay, file format examples, what is the standard uh, format, uh, SAP standard See, format? SAP has not provided any standard format. Normally, it is in uh, a text format, it is there. But okay. if, they read, uh, if, if they need an XML, XML format, if they need an Excel format, if they need a text format, if you need a H HTML format, format mm -hmm. they can convert. See, conversion are, conversions are there. They can go ahead. That is not a big thing. Okay, but the, what are the outputs we need to be selected? Is there any standard output? For example, employee number. Uh, that, that, that we have to configure. So that, okay, that, that is, we have to configure. Okay. Yes, yes, that we can. Right. That, that we cover in our uh, uh, training, right? Here, the, in the training, yes. it is that is actually, that is the node is created by the basis people. Okay, that we can cover. There is no issue. The way it is created. So we can have a very, we can. Fun. Configure so that in the output file we will get the partner bank account number, right. employee name. If we ask additionally, we need the personal area, sub area. So like yeah. that. Uh, so Normally, that report that is to be developed purely by the ABAP because retrieving the data from the database. But here, I put the DME standard that employee name and bank account and as well as slash five fifty nine. These three things will come in the standard. Other than that, if you need any other information, so just you can go and develop it here. As per standard customization, there is only employee name, employee num personal number, and bank that is slash 559 amount. Only these three things will come into picture. If you need any other field, go for customer specific. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We will go for standard only, not uh, right. anything. Right. No, whatever the possibility in the customization, we'll check it. Got my okay. mind. Right, mm -hmm. tax reporter. Tax reporter, basically, you have to know here PU19 in the PU19 here normally basically you have to know W2 report W2 W4 and W5 other than that 940 941 these are the corrections so what SAP has provided as the tax reporters there what waste types you are going to insert it is all standard it is all standard yeah. now there are short numbers are there like in uh, uh, farm 16 we have pan number it is there like pan number it, it must be somewhere okay we have earnings okay. we have deduction section 8 section uh, under 10 section 130 section 30 like it is there like in us payroll also basically short numbers are there those in the tax reporter what we can configure in pu 19 what are the reports we can generate that we will discuss this is very very important when you work in us payroll that is yeah. next one next one yeah so next one after that this is the integration part integration part claim, is not and claim but claim claim generation what does mean by claim uh claim means for example your uh, earning is less than your deductions so that claim will generate right that scenario i didn't get that claim claim generation no what is, hmm. claim what is generate mean Claim, claim generate means if your gross amount is less than your uh, uh, deduction amount. For example, you are earning uh, this time 5,000 rupees and you have right. the deduction of 10,000 rupees. So that. Okay. No, normally, normally, deductions are not more than 30% of your gross salary. How it will be double? For example, you, you have some uh, uh, unpaid absences and uh, amount, uh, un uh, you, you have some absences, but the amount, amount is not deducted in that month, or you have some loan amount or something like that. So you're talking, in, in, you're talking about miscellaneous, regular payroll, everything will be done. And how okay, so be? in every every scenario there is a claim generated, right? Uh, some 831 or 881, some secondary wage type also generate. If your gross amount is less than your uh, uh, deductions means deduction is more than your gross in that case now you are talking about the claim of the retro period or current period claim of the retro period current period current period current period how it will be more than uh, your earnings 
any 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 scenario any month not about only particular month any month if, if that the scenario happens so if that is the case and uh, we can split the claims and according to your client requirement you can deduct the amount and say for example you are getting 5000 assume that you are getting 5000 you have to deduct uh, you have to pay 15000 Stand, standard uh, secondary waste type 561 and 563. So that I just want to know some. Uh, as 561 is the claim, uh, claim right? Uh, secondary waste type slash 561 slash 563. So these are I need to just understand if you can give some lights. 61 slash 563, right? Mm, 561 563 okay we'll discuss claim from previous period what it is right mm -hmm. okay but okay claim is right but it's not more than the reduction here never more your grass salary is more than the reductions but what is mean by claim i can't I explain you. I can so explain. every time it will not happen but if any month it happens so how the system behaves just just, just i just want to understand that how yeah it's okay a, no problem a, okay okay yeah. no, no problem no problem okay i will write down here uh, claim concept claim concept uh, of slash 561 slash 563 right okay then after the word then integration you know integration in the sense base type symbolic account okay then real account okay and all those things that we'll discuss and uh, apart from that yeah now, next one is the payroll driver. So, normally, if you want payroll, what is the transaction code? PC00 underscore M10 underscore CALC. That is a transaction transaction code. And uh, this we can run payroll through the program also. That is uh, RPCALC um, CU0. And in the program, we have so many sub programs. As a consultant, you are not going to develop these uh, programs. You are not going to develop the programs. Program is uh, a standard execution uh, policies. And as a consultant, you have to know certain things. Say, for example, what are the US payroll, US specific info types are they? Normally, we can uh, we can search in the Google. No, don't search in the Google. Go to the payroll driver. There, there you can search. And whenever you get free time, go to the payroll driver. Okay, SC38, SC38, enter the payroll driver, click on display, and go to one, uh, uh, you know, one sub program that is known as an include and read it. When you read the day one, you won't understand anything. Day two, day three, if you know the technical terms, say for example, wage type, LGART, personal area, PARSA R works personal sub area btrtl payroll area ab carries personal number partner and certain tables that means in the program they can specify by the giving the table name by giving a technical name by reading that we will understand the logic you said about the claims how the claims are configured how it will be there slash 561 slash 560 uh, three secondary way steps you can configure. So, say for example, I can show you this program. So, slash n sc38. This is a program rpcalcu0. And if you click on it, you can run payroll that you know. And but here, if you go to, if you see the documentation, also you can see the documentation. What is RPCALCU0? This is the documentation. What is the table? You can find out what are the table names also. And here, normally, if you can source code and if you can go to display, this is very, very important. Now, you wanted to know what are the garnishment info types are there. Okay, for garnishment, Control F, Control F, write down garnishments. If you press enter garnishments within the program, what is the sub program of the garnishment is there? System, it will go under, the cursor will be there. Uh, I think it's taking time. Yeah, here we can check uh, 
garnishment. Now you can check it here. Here, garnishment constant for payroll. Now there is a constant table. So we underscore T511K and 11P table are there. There are the constants. Uh, Mm, garnishment already this is a program we can find out here here garnishment order garnishment record garnishment document okay here there are different different programs are there here in the different different program these are the tables we can find out here this is a program this is a program or enhancement it is there in every sub program we can do some enhancement that is done by the abapers here you can check info type garnishment you can check it here now include this is the include name so uh, row number 73 rpci ftu3 info type garnishment data for garnishment if you wanted to know click on garnishment here this is the include info type garnishment double click on the program if you double click on the program <clears throat> you can see 0194 0195 260 garnishment document garnishment order adjustment now other than these three info types if you if you create a, a customer specific info type also that must be here then only it will work out that means anything we develop it must be a part of the payroll driver then only it will work out if it is not part of the payroll driver it never works as an abapper they must know as an abapper we have to know now info types for the taxes us taxes if you want to info type for us here 0207 0208 0209 210 234 554 these are all only for us payroll related data so that in the program normally if you wanted to be perfect in the payroll of any country any country many people they think i know everything payroll i have 24 years of experience every day i wanted to learn every day i wanted to learn so that means SAP is an ocean. Whatever we know, it is only drop of the water. So that is the reason every day we have to check it. Every day we have to check it. And this is the program where we can find out here. That is about a payroll driver. Right. Next one, main schema. Main schema that is U triple zero. And what are the sub schemas? What are the sub schemas. The common sub schemas you have to know. There is a question. We know secondary waste type, we know primary waste type and all those things. What sub schemas I must know? As a consultant, I can say you must know every sub schema. Of course, it may take uh, years together, not months together, days together, each and everything. But certain sub schemas you must know. How should I know these sub schemas I have to know? And if you go to the configuration part, if you go to the configuration part, now go to the tax. In the tax uh, tax related waste types tax tax related payroll schemas now there is a schema now if you click on that the schema utx0 you must know utx0 so utx0 that means whatever the sub schema which is part of your configuration whatever the pcr whatever the processing class Whatever the accumulation class, which but is part of your, your screen, actually, your screen is not movable, only word file I can see. Maybe from my end is okay. I have said just you can refresh your internet. Okay. Yes, internet is working. Okay, uh, I can see your MS team, and uh, that's all. Sorry, huh? the meeting channel. Yes, I can see now. Yes, yes maybe internet is. Issue. Yeah, maybe right. Yeah. Right now, whatever the sub schemas, whatever the processing classes, whatever the accumulation classes. If it is part of your configuration, you must know. What are the schemas are part of the subscale here? UTF0, UT00, UAL0, UBE1, okay. UAP1, UAP0, okay, then UBD0. These are the subschemas we must know. Where they are, where they are, when we configure, I can I can show you. But in each and every subschema, what should I know? 
is very simple i can tell if you run payroll what info types you have to maintain four zeros triple zero one triple zero two triple zero six triple zero seven triple zero eight triple zero nine fourteen fifteen zero two sixty seven twenty ten info type zero one ninety four zero one ninety five okay then zero one seventy one zero one sixty seven health related okay apart from that zero two zero seven zero two zero eight zero two zero nine zero two ten okay apart from that triple zero three zero three zero two okay then after zero two thirty four zero two thirty five zero one sixty one okay these info types you are going to run you are going to maintain even absence say 2001 2002 okay 2006 okay, 2011 okay when you run payroll is very simple when you run payroll to retrieve the data from these info types what are the functions what are the sub schemas what are the standard pcr if you write a customer specific pcr also from where it is reading say for example u010 pcr is there u010 pcr it is reading waste types which are maintained in 1845 waste types which are maintained in 1845 which are maintained processing class 1 specification 0 or specification 1 or 2 or 3 whatever it is okay we will discuss but just i'm telling here so that what are the functions what are the pcrs what are the uh, sub schemas are they to retrieve the data once it is retrieving where it is storing where it is storing so storing in a sense we have an internal tables temporary tables are there where it is storing and finally it, it will be in the rt table where the rt table result table it is there those we have to know those we have to know that is about uh, u0 that is about all info types right but these sub schema just i can show you one or two sub schemas here utx0 in utx0 very very important thing you have to know u umot uuim whd this is uh, uwh2 that is processing class 86 bsa version here us tax us tax that is a function very in indian payroll in tax in uk payroll gb tax in australian payroll qt tax in us payroll qs tax indian payroll in tax so the, these are the function that means many people they think that what function will do this function is part of your program in the program they have written the logic what logic what is gross salary what is mean by gross salary it is retrieving mm -hmm. from what secondary waste type okay what are the deductions deduction waste types are gross minus deductions is equal to net where it is going to be stored slash 560 that equal to slash exactly written in the function right no 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 it, it was written in the program okay so in what function do collection of the activities in the program is a function you are not, not writing a anything in the function what it is okay. doing you have to know what it is doing yeah what it is doing you have to know every function you are not writing you are not developing it is there i what agree it, i agree no, no. so what function means the a, a c t t zero right what is that function works we have to know right yes a c t i o is there what it is when it is put followed by what it is that we have to know yes. okay normally so that, yes tell me okay that we will be discussed in the coming classes what right, the function right, are right, doing right, right. okay and what is the parameter one what is the parameter two what is the parameter three four that also right no, normally we can use parameter two only okay, okay three four we never maintain if it is there what it is we have to know okay okay we are not maintaining but what it is we have to know and that what about parameter one parameter one that we have discussed whenever there is a sub schema okay listen. Okay, a sub schema, a PCR in parameter one preceded by some function. Say, for example, I will show you one logic. So, what is the logic I will show you? Yeah. Function parameter one. Okay. If a function is copy parameter one, there is a sub schema. 
If a function is copy parameter one, there is a sub schema. Now you can check. So if you go to the main schema, u triple zero, click on change, you can check. Copy is there, this is sub schema. Copy is there, this is sub schema. Copy is there, this is sub schema. This is parameter one. Now sub schema is not followed by any other parameters here, you can check it. That is one thing. And next one, if a function is PIT, in parameter one, there is a PCR. And parameter two, parameter two, most of the cases when it is a PCR, that is a processing class. So where it is, if you go to UT00, here, PIT, there is a PCR. Processing class one, PIT, processing class one, here processing class one. This is more a different disease. We will discuss. And there are certain parameters that we have to know. Got my point? Mm, I got you. Right, right. In the same way, ACTIO is there. There is a PCR. Whenever ACTIO is there, parameter two, sometimes it is maintained. Parameter three, sometimes it is maintained. Sometimes both we will maintain. What is that? What is that? Now I can show you um, here parameter ACTIO. Mm. Okay, here it is not there. Right? We'll go to UAL0 here, ACTIO. Here, this is, they, they have specified A. What is meant by A? Okay, ACTIO, there is only PCR. But whenever it is PIT, it is followed by parameter, this processing class 10, processing class 31. Like here, PIT XPPF. Parameter 2 is not there because it is not reading any processing class, but it is no AB is there. Here is processing class 20, no AB is there. There is a no AB and GEN, general no AB. What is no AB? What is a GEN? Those we have to know. There is a GEN and OAB. What is GEN? General. What is NOAB according to your customization of uh, uh, define employee subgroup grouping for PCR and CAP? Or else there is a table V underscore uh, 001 underscore all table is there that you have to know. There is a procedure, there is a process. There is a process to know them, right? But here I will tell you, if you get an error, as per the PCR, as per the subschema, as per the schema, you should be able to identify, oh, the problem is because of this subschema. The problem is because of uh, uh, this function, we must be able to identify. Then only we can give a solution easily. And whenever you receive a, uh, an issue and if you wanted to learn by that time, it's not, it is not possible. You have to take some somebody's help, right? So this is about uh, payroll driver subscribers. So now here there are uh, standard PCRs are there. I'm writing them here. X010, X013, okay, XMOD, okay, X020, X023, X023, then XPPF, XPP0, XPP1, XVAL. These subschema, these PCRs, what they are, and what are their behavior? What are the processing classes are involved? Those you have to know. This is. Then customer specific PCR. Normally, customer specific PCR, if an amount uh, fixed to all employees, okay, that we can achieve through the configure and if a PCR also. And fixed amount is variable. Variable in the sense, Personal area, New York, people are getting 2,500. California, people are getting 2,600. So why the difference? That is a business process. There is no question why. Company has the policies. And if you want to maintain, if you want to maintain, without maintaining manually, whenever it is a New York, 2,500. Whenever it is a California, 2,600. Only possible is the PCR. Only possible is the PCR. Now, there is one more thing. <clears throat> Salaries are calculated calendar days and working days. And in process it is there. 
January 31 days, February 28 days, April 30 days, calendar days, working days, January 23 days, April 22 days, system can calculate. But company people, they want to ask. Every month is 30 days, they want. That is not very nice AP. System has two options, either calendar days or working days. January 31 days, calendar days. Working days, 22 days or 23 days. But client want 30 days, not 31 days, not 23 days, 30 days. Then the PCR of existed, you can modify. What PCR it is, where we can modify, what we can modify. Those are the things <coughs> are very common. That is fixed amount related. But if the amount is percentage based, if the amount is uh, multiplied, if the amount is addition, if the amount is deduction, if the amount is a comparison, what does that mean, Madhu? Percentage. Say, for example, monthly bonus, P percentage on basic pay. Or monthly bonus, P times for the basic pay. Plus monthly bonus, monthly bonus plus 500 addition. Or monthly bonus. Minus 500 uh, deduction or comparison. What is mean by comparison? So comparison means if your basic pay equal 5,000 or less than 5,000. Comparison. If your basic pay is equal to 5,000, less than 5,000, then monthly bonus is uh, 500. If your basic pay is greater than 5,000, and monthly bonus is 1,000. Is 1,000. Then how do you specify to the system? That is one thing. And companies will give you daily allowances. Daily 15. Present, this is a attendance allowance. If you are present, company will pay $50. If it's calendar days, how do you calculate? Working days, how do you calculate? Calendar days. Say, for example, daily $50. Daily fifty dollars. Calendar days January thirty one into fifty equal to fifteen fifty. In fifty. Only working days January twenty three into fifty. Then eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. How do you calculate? You don't enter manually. System has to calculate. Yeah, these are the things we are going to discuss. This is again just all basics what we are going to discuss. And uh, right now, just I want to start one basic settings that you know is very simple. Now, next one you can go for the basic settings. So what is an obligation path for the basic settings? Is PRO F5. Uh, let I, me uh, disconnect and rejoin because this uh, screen is a little bit uh, uh, slow. I think uh, you are what you are ta talking about that screen, I am not able to see. Okay, so now uh, let us do one thing. We will stop it. Already it's 12.25. You can okay. log on. And, okay, we will stop it and we will meet tomorrow. Same okay, level, no. right? Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, then uh, for uh, system access, I will connect to whom? You, you can ask them. They will provide you the system access. Okay, okay. So tomorrow we will discuss uh, on which topic? Be, first basic settings, later okay. basic configuration. Okay, don't, don't no problem. Right. So if you have uh, recorded this session, can you send me this uh, so that I, I can revise it? Whatever. I, I, I don't have any access. Uh, expert people, they will share with you. Okay. Right. Okay, no problem. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye. Okay. okay, bye. Ugh. <laughs>